I'm Dr. Kate Talenko, an author of the book InSourced, How Importing Jobs Impacts the Healthcare Crisis Here and Abroad by Dartmouth Press. Did you know that every year the U.S. imports tens of thousands of foreign healthcare workers at the same time that we turn away tens of thousands of qualified applicants from American nursing and medical schools? Rather than investing in our own young people, the State Department earmarks visas for foreign health care workers from some of the poorest and sickest countries in the world. It's simply cheaper to import health care workers than invest in our own young people. And one of the problems that we have as a result of this unofficial policy is that foreign health care workers are willing to work for lower wages, they're willing to accept poor working conditions, and it's been documented that they're willing to take on higher patient loads than is generally considered safe. The U.S.'s dependence on foreign health care workers also de-incentivizes us from investing in our own minority, rural, and underserved communities. Although there's a debate as to what the U.S.'s immigration policy should be, I think we all can agree that we don't want it to be at the cost of the lives of poor people and young Americans' futures. It's time for us to stop taking quick fixes and start investing in young Americans. To learn more about this important topic and what you can do, read my book, visit our website, and sign up for one of our action newsletters. I'm Dr. Kate Talemko, and it was good to be with you today.